All right, math may not be everybody's favorite subject in school, but One Valley District made it a mission to improve scores, and it's adding up big time. It wasn't mine for sure. In our State of Education report, Eleni Dowd takes us inside a Chandler Junior High School to get a closer look at their formula for success. Are you guys ready to share? No. This isn't your typical eighth grade algebra class. So what would you do to undo the simplification? Radical 16 times. Melissa Stanley's students, as you can see, are not in their desks. Which one are you talking about? They're at the whiteboards set up all around the classroom. Once you're up and moving and talking to people, it keeps your brain awake and you're thinking more and doing more. Eighth grader Abby Roth enjoys the way she learns math in the Chandler Unified School District. And all eyes and ears on group 11. This is a newer model called enhanced math practices the district adopted in the last few years. Wouldn't it be negative 20? Yeah. And they're seeing results. In the secondary level, we're seeing our teachers that implement EMP. We're seeing a five to 7% growth in our data. It's not about memorizing certain material and regurgitating it on a test. And the perimeter is this. It's making sure they actually understand what they're learning and show their work. Because the, they are forced to be engaged because they're up at the whiteboards. And then they also may be picked to defend or to share um, their work. And so they have to be able to explain what they've done to their peers. The new math practices include the five E's. Times five. Engage, explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate. If zero's here, it's going to be farther away. These students are working really hard to not just get the right answer, but be able to clarify their thinking, um, justify their answers, really work through those standards of mathematical practice that are in our state standards. Working together to solve problems instead of sitting at a desk and doing worksheets. I've been in the classroom for 20 years. Um, uh, students 20 years ago are different thinkers than they are today. Our, our students today are very tech savvy, so they learn differently. So we need to adapt and adjust our teaching uh, styles to meet their needs. Okay, now what are you guys going to do? In Chandler, Eleni Dow, ABC 15, Arizona.